In the next video, I will present simple tools to improve the dashboard interface. For my project, I chose the pastel color scheme Cat Putchin, which aims to strike a balance between low and high contrast themes. Additionally, I will use three small tools to improve the visualization, Lovelace Mini Graph Card, Lovelace Tempometer Gauge Card, Stacking Card. All tools are installed through the Community Store HACS. If you haven't installed this add-on yet, you'll find instructions on how to do it below the video. To activate the installed theme, we need to add the following script to the configuration.yml file. A restart of Home Assistant is required to apply the changes. The Cat Putchin configuration file is located in the following folder. The classic color scheme of my old dashboard layout looks as follows. Changing the theme color scheme is available by clicking on your Home Assistant user profile. We proceed to install the first tool, which allows grouping entities in vertical and horizontal layouts, stack in card via ROM Rider. The next small tool to enhance our dashboard is a minimalist card for visualizing our home automation measurement variables in the form of graphs, Lovelace Mini Graph Card. The last tool needs to be installed a bit differently because it is not directly available in the hack store. We need to copy the repository link and paste it as a custom one. After adding the repository, we can install it in the usual way from the hack store. The first change will involve improving the appearance of the temperature graphs in three rooms and combining them using the stacking tool. To do this, we add a new card, which can be found at the end of the list of available card templates. The Mini Graphs card does not offer a graphical editing option. Everything must be defined using scripts, examples of which can be found on the add-ons webpage. The link will be provided below the video. For visualization, we will use charts where the curve dynamically changes color depending on the value. The copied script is pasted into the editor of the mini graphs card. All that remains is to change the entity to our temperature sensor. We repeat the same process for the other two cards. 
Simply duplicate the already created card and replace the entity with the corresponding temperature sensor. The video has been sped up 5 times. To compact the three graphs, we will use the stacking tool. First, it will be a vertical arrangement, and then we will change it to horizontal. In this tool, we can choose any type of card from the list, but in our case, there will be many graphs. You can also select the manual option. For each chart card, we copy the script and paste it into the vertical stack in card. Using the plus icon, we add another card and paste the script code from the next chart. We repeat the operation for the last chart. To change the orientation of the displayed cards, simply go to the card editor and change the word horizontal to vertical. We move on to the last tool, which will improve the visualization of real-time value indicators. In our case, it will be energy consumption. The creator of the tool has prepared ready-made scripts for several cases, including our example. We copy the script and create a manual card. You just need to specify our entity and the recorded daily minimum and maximum values for it. If you don't have these entities, you can remove them. All that remains is to adjust the displayed value ranges and the threshold values for the color transition of the indicator. There is a small mistake in the script that prevents the icons from changing to indicators and instead shows the default ones. Simply change the line style to card underscore style, and the icons will be displayed correctly. Thank you for watching the video, I hope these simple tools will help refresh the look of your dashboard. The most challenging issue I skipped in this video was defining daily minimum and maximum values for the indicators. If needed, I can make a video showing how I did it for the sensor values and from the weather forecast card. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot, and it helps me create more videos for you. Thanks for watching.